I'm looking at a clip from way back February 22nd, 2015, and it's a clip of Kevin Hart at the Oscars. Very excited, so excited that in the description box they say, forget the nominees, forget the performers. The most excited person at tonight's Oscars has to be Kevin Hart. And then you see in the clip Kevin Hart all excited, talking about how he coming back to host the Oscars. As in, this is the next step of my career. Oh, I'm really getting somewhere. And we see recently the announcement that Kevin Hart's going to be at the Oscars as the host. But then Kevin Hart's dream is crushed because the Academy called him and said, Kevin, we, we've just been made aware that there are some tweets from way back when that we're going to need you to apologize for or we're going to have to find somebody else. Kevin Hart heard that and was like, you know, he, he he has his ways, his sellout ways, but Kevin Hart heard that and said, uh-uh, I ain't apologizing, you're going to have to find somebody else. Shocking them jokes. I know they wasn't expecting to hear that. And other people, of course, oh, how could he do that? How could he not apologize? And that's the problem right there. Joke is always trying to push people around. First, they want to say, oh, this is about freedom of expression. And then as soon as you express yourself, oh, th but not that way. Mm -mm. You did the right thing, Kevin Hart. He said something that made so much sense. The same people that use that energy to find those old tweets could have used that same energy to find the times that he apologized already for those tweets. Because you would have had to pass by those apologies to get to the tweets. So what you really trying to do, Joker? Trying to cause some outrage. Mm-mm. Ain't going to happen because he ain't going to be there. So at some point, somebody has to have some principles. Somebody has to just stand and say, okay, no, I'm not going to accept that. And that's not a, a fully accepted thing as a celebrity. Especially around those ones at the Oscars. And this is big because Kevin Hart, he, he does do the little sellout stuff sometimes, but when it comes to politics and, and different type of topics that will make people angry or divide his audience up, he's one of the smarter ones and he don't really take a stance. He kind of just try to stay in the middle. For the most part. And the celebrities that do that, they're the smart ones. And then the ones that don't do that, you got to watch them because it's a lot of times they're trying to push an agenda on you. So for Kevin Hart to take this stance, that's big for him. So again, I'm just going to say, Kevin, you did the right thing for a dang change. Red, silver, J. All I got to say.